What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Mold Man episode. We're doing a little exploring today, and uh, the river is right behind y'all. It is super windy today, and I just fell in the river. Soaking wet, I gotta get my boots off, but I'm gonna set up a little, uh, set up a little hammock. We're gonna do some fishing and exploring today. Maybe we'll find some arrowheads. I don't know what's in store, but uh, we're here to have a good time. So stay tuned, enjoy, and maybe you'll even learn something. Well, that's not good. All right, so I had to reweave my hammock, but I don't know what's going on here in Texas. It is so windy. Got a train in the background. Break off some of these limbs. All right, let's get these uh, wet boots and socks off. Guarantee you. Ugh. So, I was planning on having a campfire, but I think it's gonna be a little bit too windy to have a fire. I got water all in my boots. I'm gonna let those guys dry out. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. I could chill here for a while. Let these socks dry out for a little while. I thought it was gonna be cold out, but I was gonna wear Crocs or sandals coming to the river, but you never know what the Texas weather's gonna do. It's supposed to rain today, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but get these socks dried out a little bit, and uh, we're gonna get our fly rod ready. Today's video is sponsored by Jackery. Y'all seen them in many videos of mine in the past. Um, they have a portable power station, so I have a way now to charge my cameras so y'all can stay out in the woods with me and charge my phone, charge my phone, charge my lights, whatever I need. Whatever I need charged, I can do it with this. This is the Explorer 1000. Uh, you got your AC outlets. I'm going to turn that off because I just charged my phone. You got your DC outlets, USB-C. Um, I actually usually charge it with solar panels, which I have in the truck. Uh, I can go get them if I need them, but a full charge on this thing will last me days and days on end, um, and I don't need to charge it. So I didn't bother with bringing these uh, solar panels to charge this thing, um, but this thing is awesome. It'll charge everything that I need as well as a flashlight on the front. This charge will last forever. This is on 99%. I've used it for the past two hours charging my phone and it only went down 1%. So, um, awesome product. Y'all go check them out. Go see if we can catch some lunch. I brought my fly rod. We're gonna see if we catch some bluegill and uh, dry these pants out a little bit and hopefully get in some good fishing action. All right, guys. We are getting ready to do a little fishing. Put my rod together and uh, figure out what fly they're gonna be biting on today. Hopefully they're biting.
All right, time to choose the fly. I think we're gonna go with a little floater to start out. Do like a little prints. I think these are called the print, like a little prints fly. We'll see how that does first. And uh, we'll just keep trying out new stuff until they start biting. Alright, we got a fly tied on. Now let's go see if we can catch a fish in this wind. I gotta put my shoes back on. They're just gonna be a little wet. This is the cool part about the jackery. I can charge my phone while I'm fishing. Just wanna get back. Be fully charged, all you gotta do is press AC, plug in, record in, charging. We'll leave that there. Now let's go fishing. All right guys, I got y'all on a GoPro. I can't really fish and use the big camera, so fork down to the river and uh, try to figure out what these fish are biting on. If I can figure out how to get down from this. Alright, water is a little murky. I'm going to start out in this little pool right here under this tree. See if I can slip it up under there. over to my next little spot found this cool little scraper we'll leave it for somebody else see if we can maybe we'll turn up a good arrowhead today Yes, we got one guys. We got one. Little bluegill. That's what I'm talking about. We got lunch. Perfect little bluegill. We're going to dispatch this guy. We're going to make a fire and cook him up for lunch.
All right, guys, let's go back and get our fish. Go back to our little camp, clean him. See if we can get a fire started in this wind. We've had lots of rain, so I'm not worried about uh, spreading a fire or anything. I just don't know if we can get a fire built with all this wind. We got our fish. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this little bluegill. Then we're gonna cut the gills out. We're gonna pull all the guts and the gills out. You could use that as bait. Catch catfish or whatever else, probably more perch. Wash them off. Now, we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna scale them. So we're gonna run our knife against the grain of the scales and that will pull all those scales out of them. Wash them off. Try to get every single scale off of them. Flip them over, do the same thing on this side. Now we've got our perch all scaled and gutted. We're gonna take them up, whittle us a stick to put them on, and then we are going to build a fire and cook them for lunch. Got us a little stick. We'll trim off these little branches here. Break off the end. Now we're gonna go through the mouth. Like that. And out the back. Just like that. So now, we've got our fish stick. Now all we're gonna do is build a little fire, roast them up, and we're eating fresh fish for lunch. We're gonna go down by the river, try to get out of this wind and build us a little fire down on uh, the riverbank. All right. Put our, put our fish up so he doesn't get dirty. I'm gonna go collect some wood and uh, we'll get a fire going. Guys, now all we do is put our stick back in the dirt where it lays over this fire. Just like that. And we'll let our fish roast up. All right guys, I think she is about done. Let's take her up to camp and uh, eat a good lunch. I'm sweating my butt off. Hey guys, let's see what she tastes like. Peel off this. Outer layer, got a few little scales that I left on there. 
Oh yeah, perfect. Perfectly cooked. Perch. All right, let me break that backbone off. Oh, look at that. Hmm. It does not get much better than bluegill. Fresh bluegill by the river. Hmm. Watch this. Perfect. Perfectly cooked. Over an open fire. That right there, you just dig in. That's nothing but meat. You're probably thinking, this isn't much food, but when you're in a survival situation, this right here, can get you that extra mile. But, it didn't take long to catch this fish. I probably could have caught five or six more if I really needed a meal. But I don't really need a meal, so. All that skin is edible. I didn't bring any critter glitter, so it's not as good as it could be, but all that is edible. The old plate is pretty much all that's left. Throw that for the coons. I brought some water. I feel like I got fish all over my face. Oh, I even brought some bug spray, but got some water. Wash it down with. We got rain. It looks like rain's coming in. So I'm going to get out of here. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a blast exploring the river and uh, found some cool little artifacts. No arrowheads, but found some scrapers and uh, some flakes of flint. So this rain is coming quick if y'all look behind you. I don't know if y'all can see that, but all that is dark, dark, dark clouds. And they're coming straight for us. So I'm going to pack everything up. We're going to head back to the truck. If you guys enjoy this episode, be sure to go check out Jackery Explorer 1000 is what I use. But Jackery link will be in the description below. They are having a sale, but I'm putting that in the description below. So go check out that description to see when the sale is and you can save money. Get yourself a jackery i'm telling you guys if we ever have blackouts or anything like this this is what's going to save you and in the long run it could save your life you can charge pretty much anything you want to off of it and uh, it comes in handy anywhere i keep it in my truck at all times so stay tuned hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and remember eat good